four reasons why she texts you less and how to deal with it. Hi guys, my name is Apollonia Puente. I'm a dating relationship and life coach for you men to not only master your attraction skills in dating and relationships, but also in life in general. And you know, when you start to get to know a woman and she might be so cute and beautiful, maybe you guys even chatted online or saw each other on the first date and you notice that you guys have been hitting it off. And then all of a sudden she starts texting you less and you're like, what's happening? I thought everything has been good. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what is going on. Make sure you stay to the very end. And if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to click that subscribe button so you can get more videos just like this. Now let's get into it. Number one, first reason why a woman would stop texting or text you less, I should say, is she's not interested, but wants you around for a backup because you've fill a certain need for her. Maybe that need is attention, which is pretty broad. I know because a lot of people do want this, but it is true. Maybe also too, there's a need that you feel for her of maybe problem solving or something you're helping her with her career or her studies or something that she's gaining from this relationship with you. And she's not interested, but she still wants you around as a backup. So this could really happen. Now, here's what I have to say, men, is like, if you are going into a relationship, quote unquote, and courting a woman as being a friend, only and not showing intent, which I'm going to put a video up here in your cards so you can watch that next about how to show a woman intent. And you're handing her the friend card and saying, I just want to be friends with you, but you really intentionally do like her and want to be with her. Well, guess what? Number one is going to be true and it's going to be your fault because you're handing her the friend card and you're not showing her intent. You have to be intentful so a woman knows that you are interested in her for more than the more. So for something more, so then she can make her decision and be more clear and it doesn't end up being your fault. And if she's not clear and end up being hers and also shows you what type of woman you're dealing with. You understand? Number two is she is still managing things with her ex-boyfriend or a guy in her life, and she has more interest in him right now for. Typically, this will happen if a woman is in a toxic relationship and came out of a toxic relationship with an ex-guy, and then you're a really secure man. What will happen here is she'll think that secure is boring because what she's been doing and been dating and her ex-partner is challenges, dopamine hits, toxicity. And she thinks this is healthy when it's not. And she doesn't know why she's addicted to it herself. So there's things that she also has to manage and she has to work through within her life because if a woman texts less and less, but she still shows interest, she was still probably managing things with her ex or a guy in her life. If you know that there was someone still in her life that she has interest for. Number three is a big one, I think, is you are too available for her and she knows you are attracted to her 100%. Okay. Let me repeat. You are too available for her and she knows you are attracted to her 100%. All right. Let me clarify you are too available real quick. Here's what I see a lot of people doing on a tactical level is you become too available. You think that you can't be too available. So you mark every text message. Oh, I'm going to wait an hour. Oh, I'm going to wait. I'm only going to send her three text messages today. Oh, I'm not going to respond to her tonight. And it becomes this tactical game that you're playing. So the energy that you're creating behind it is inauthentic, but also you're inauthentic as well. And typically when you're dealing with a high quality woman or a woman that really knows what she wants, she's going to be able to predict this energy. And also too, this typically comes from insecurities and not feeling confident with yourself and also knowing what you want from an, your ideal woman, which I have plenty of videos and I'm going to have more coming up soon. And so here's the thing is it's not about acting or being tactical of not being too available, but really truly living a life of abundance that you show that you're not always available for someone. Because here's the thing is a woman has to be gifted the explorer, the exploration of your excitement for her period. A woman has to be gifted the exploration of your excitement for her. So here's the thing is you haven't given her the gift of exploring your excitement for her. So exploring doesn't just take one minute. When you explore something, it could take weeks, 
days, months, right? And so you want to make sure that you're pacing yourself. And there was a, I always say that pacing is a, a pacing is the root of attraction, right? And so one of the things that many of us do is we get so hyper-focused on how you want to feel with someone that you start chasing this fantasy thought of somebody or this woman, and you get excited and you show her that you are where you're courting her to the place, to the, to the point where you're almost chasing her as well. Number four is She's just busy, possibly, and does not like to text. Typically when, um, for me example, if I was dating, um, I'm married now, but if I was dating, there is no way I would have time to text a man. Like, I just wouldn't. And I would, but I would be upfront with him. I'd be like, listen, I like hitting it off with you. I enjoy our time together. But me with texts, I'm so bad. Like, for right now, my phone, I have probably five text messages from two days ago that I have not replied to and the other ones I did, right? Because I work from my phone. So it's here, it's really important. I'm on the phone constantly. And sometimes I just want that time alone. So typically you have to feel out who this woman is, right? So if she's putting in the effort to get to know you, she's going to show you by saying, listen, I don't like texting, but I do like the phone call and send let's set up a date every once in a while. And she'll be initiating sometimes and she'll also accept your dates. And if she can't do it with you on a certain day, she'll propose another time that she can. So here's the four reasons why, you know, a woman would text less and also to, you want to make sure as well that when you notice that you're in these predicaments with a woman, that it's not coming from an insecurity or a point of validation, where it's more about, I have to look at this as dating as an assessment process. And I'm assessing this woman's behavior to see if she can meet me where I am in my life. Either that's for looking for a long-term relationship, just to have fun or wherever you are in your life. So if you want to get clearer in regards to um, texting and really talking to women, I want you to download my talking to women scripts. This script has sold thousands of copies of these scripts because men actually use this for all walks of life. So the scripts are over 35 pages of scripts in here when it comes to online dating, texting a woman, um, communication tools when you're in a relationship, dealing with conflict. I mean, the list goes on. So I'm going to put that right below so you can go ahead and sign up for those talking to women scripts because I want you to be able to really get clarity on what it is that you want from a woman moving forward so you can show up and know if a woman texts less, how to work, use this to your advantage and move on or how to find a woman that will be interested and initiate and want to text more with you or just call and actually go on dates and really meet you where you are. All right, guys, it was a pleasure doing this video for you. If you haven't yet, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, I will put another video. So right over here so you can watch it next. And remember, thanks for watching and you are always loved. Bye for now.